Since 1947, the World Affairs Council has become the preeminent global stage for world leaders and the public to inform, engage, and debate the most important issues of our time. It's your world. Get to know it. Mr. Ambassador, uh, your life is a remarkable interplay between ideas and action, theory and practice. Well, that is a Chinese uh, saying, may you live in, uh, it's a curse perhaps, uh, may you live in interesting times. And uh, I, for one, uh, have had the uh, privilege of uh, having uh, to uh, work in times of, of great change uh, and challenge. We came up with the idea that we didn't want to go back to either a bipolar system or a multipolar system, but to go to a system of cooperative uh, security led by the United States as the world's preeminent power. Very few people thought at that time that 9-11 would happen, and yet again the world would change. And uh, uh, we had to then develop approaches for how do you deal with the problems of the Middle East? Uh, because uh, the dysfunctionality of that region, uh, the challenges of that region, replaced, in a sense, the Soviet challenge. There were different challenges, but, this, uh, but replaced it as the most important geopolitical issues facing the world. As the military planners say, there is no plan that meets the test of reality once mm -hmm. you confront uh, facts on the ground. But I think the process of strategizing of, mm -hmm. and of planning is very useful, even though the exact plan that you go with uh, 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 does not survive the confrontation with facts and reality on the ground. But the process of having thought about uh, issues, alternatives, is helpful. Uh, uh, and it makes it easier to adjust the plan. Uh, what happens in, in, uh, um, is that uh, Many of our senior uh, strategists um, were the products of the Cold War. I, even myself, uh, although I came from that region, mm -hmm. my training uh, at the University of Chicago was, I told you, in, in nuclear strategy with mm -hmm. Albert Wolstetter. And many of our uh, senior people were uh, focused on the Soviet Union. But the center of gravity of problems uh, now has shifted southward. Uh, to the broader Middle East. And during uh, the post 9 11 uh, world uh, of policy, a lot of people around the president uh, advising him uh, were uh, very smart people. Uh, most uh, of them uh, were my friends and are still my friends. Mm -hmm. But they were uh, not trained, uh, did not have. Uh, significant experience in dealing uh, with uh, the broader Middle East with the challenges of the Islamic world. Geopolitical transitional state that Iraq is, on the one side the, the Persians, on the other side the Turks, on the other side the Arabs, that Iraq was an area where these three uh, peoples, so to speak, met, that it was going to be difficult. Um, and therefore advised that we sh one shouldn't have gone into Iraq. I think that is a legitimate argument that uh, historians would have to look at. Uh, 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 my own judgment is, for all it's worth, that some of the problems that we experienced subsequently in Iraq uh, had a lot to do with some of the early decisions we made, some of the mistakes mm -hmm. we made after we went in. And uh, whatever you think about whether one should have gone in or not, I think the the, the, the dissolving of the army, uh, the deep debatification, and, that, uh, and the way that the new army and, and, and uh, uh, security forces were put together, bringing a lot of militias in, and not doing enough on the politics mm -hmm. 